All right, hey everyone. I get so tired of hearing myself say that just like that. <laughs> but a lot of these videos we put out in the public YouTube channel, so I have to think in terms of that. But um, anyway, just want to say a quick note. Um, I just I had an amazing day today, buddy. What are you doing? Um, just amazing day today, you know. Um, well, last night went out and had sushi in celebration of finishing the CrossFit Open. And um, I keep things pretty clean when I do sushi. I tend to drink a little bit more sake than normal. But, um, but you know, when you eat sushi, especially all you can eat, it comes with a lot of rice and stuff. So this morning had a great uh, priming and practice session with Joy. And we just sat out here outside my office in the little foray here and had a really, really good practice session, which was amazing. And, uh, but it was interesting because me and Joy were both sitting there saying how we just feel kind of off, you know. And we both went out and had sushi last night. And aside from that, like, um, as far as I know, she's been really, really clean with everything. I'm super clean with everything. But it was just having that little extra carb that I'm not used to. I had like a rice hangover this morning is what it felt like. Maybe it was sake and rice. But, but it was, you know, I definitely noticed the difference when I have more than uh, like a cup of safe starches. And so it was interesting because we both felt it. We both were talking about how, you know, you kind of feel off and puffy and, and that kind of thing. And what I told Joy was, you know, it's one night of kind of overdoing things. And because you get that little bit of a digestive bloating situation going on, like it makes it feel like a lot more has happened, you know. But the reality is that in one night, we didn't put on five or ten pounds of body fat or anything. You know, we just feel off and our energy levels is a little bit different and my point with that is, it's just really interesting to pay attention to that kind of stuff. You know, the first thing that I said to Joy this morning was, I actually cherish these moments now because of the contrast. And the contrast helps you really clarify what you want. You know, the contrast of the nights that I'm really on and moderate things versus the nights that I overdo it, like it's a night and day difference. And I'd rather feel good. Like I choose amazing. And so that just helps to clarify that, hey, I want to be as spot on as I can most of the time. And at the same time, without these off suboptimal moments, I'm not going to know what those really good times are, and I'm not going to know what I really want. So it's actually okay. It's all good. Everything is good, you know? So regardless of where you're at with things, just do the best you can, and make sure that you're using your priming and practice in the morning as a tool throughout the day to catch yourself and to notice things and to pay attention to things and to have this deep awareness of things because that's what this is all about. Like this life is about this right here. It's about being fully engaged and noticing things and learning from everything and not having this attitude of having to be perfect all the time, but really striving for perfection, learning from our difficulties and trying to move forward and have the best, the, uh, the most fun that we can with it all, you know? And I have to say that to hear myself saying it as much as for anybody else, because I get caught up in optimizing and being really strict and getting down on myself when I'm not and, you know, wanting to be a little bit more ripped and lean and being happy when I am and noticing when I'm not and, you know, but it's all good. It's all just part of the process, you know? And, um, another big plug for just being outdoors. So like today, I, I mean, I have so much stuff that I could work on just like all of you. Like I have stuff that I could just sit in the office all freaking day long, but I came in, I did my priming and practice. I shot a couple of videos and, um, and then I went out to the park with a bunch of great friends and, um, you know, a lot of SHT people, a lot of combine people. We played spike ball. We played ultimate Frisbee. I broke out the slack line. We got sun. We were grounded. I came back after that and washed Conan. I washed the Jeep, you know, and again, I, I caught myself feeling like, okay, I, I could go in here and work on some things, but you know how rejuvenating this is, you know? So the point with that is make sure that you take time for yourself. Like, you know, it's, it's easy to get caught up in going and going and going and doing and doing and doing. And at the same time, you need this balance. So make sure that you take time for yourself today. Make sure that you get outside, get some fresh air, get some sun exposure, set your circadian rhythms, do a little bit of grounding, um, have some fun, do some things for yourself and be easy on yourself. And then use this Sunday as a chance to recommit, like sit down and assess things, just even if it's momentarily and just think to yourself, okay, like I'm going to make this week the best week that I can. I think for most people, a really good strategy is Sunday through Friday or Sunday night through Thursday night. Like be ultra strict with everything, you know, five food groups, ideal days, meals, um, you know, I would stay lower carb ish. I mean, I would measure out your safe starches to a cup. I would measure out your fruits and sweets to a cup and don't go over that because some of us will tend to overeat on carbohydrates if we're not careful. I think carbohydrates are a problem for most of us in excess. And the only way to control that excess is to measure out like a cup and a cup. 
And um, what else? You got all the tools you need to have an amazing life, you know, and, and now we can just be thankful that we are engaged, we are on path, we are easy on ourselves from not being perfect, and at the same time we're always striving for perfection, trying to do the best we can. There's a ton of love and support here for you from me, from Nicole, from the entire freaking veteran community, from the, the people that are in the current SHT thing right now. Like, it's all good, and there's so much love here for you guys, all right? Have a great one.